Hey, I'm Zach. It's Zach. Fuck. Hey, it's Zach Zeller, America's number one expert on snacking <clears throat> for busy people. And today, we're going to make da -da -da, spice choco mug cakes. These are awesome. You just measure everything out, combine it, hit it in the microwave for a minute, two minutes, and then bam, you have your own mini cake just for you. Unless you have really demanding significant others, then you could just double the recipe or, or don't tell them. So let's get started. We're gonna take a fourth of a cup of, I'm using almond milk. You could use whatever dairy-free milk you like. And I'm just gonna mix in a tablespoon of chia seeds into that. Just, yeah. Just to start getting the chia seeds wet and activated and gelled up. And yeah. All right, that's good for now. Then adding about three tablespoons uh, just shy of a half cup of almond meal. Dump. Dump that right in. Obviously, we need some chocolatiness. So three tablespoons of like chocolate powder. You could use uh, like a, you could use like a Hershey chocolate mix. I like to use my cacao powder, and just add that right in. And then for some spices, I'm gonna have a shot of flavor right here. Uh, I have a little bit of cayenne, and then about three times as much cinnamon. So I probably did uh, about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then just a little bit of cayenne, because that packs a lot of heat into it. So just be careful when you add it. I'm gonna add that. Uh, now that we have all the dry ingredients inside, just gonna mix it up before we go and add the wet. All right, that'll do it. Uh, then for the wet ingredients, we have two tablespoons of maple syrup. Right in there. Then we have just one teaspoon of maple syrup. And you remember our chia seed mixture, right? Good. Add that right in. Oh, it smells good. And you should be left with something like this. Cool. So just kind of mix it all together. Give it a little taste. It's pretty good. It's a little bit raw, but we'll figure that out in a second. And so what you can do is you can just run to the microwave right now and heat it up, but I'd prefer to let it sit for two, five minutes if you have the chance. Uh, so go like brush your teeth or check an email or text someone this awesome recipe that you're making and yeah then come back and zap it in the microwave. So while we're waiting, I know microwaves kind of get a bad rap but not time. So let's go over to the microwave and make this cake. Put it in, shut the door, and we're going to go for a minute 30. Just because my microwave is like really high heat.
All right, Let's see how it came out. Oh, check that out. It's so good. So the texture, as you can see, it really firmed up a lot. It looks awesome. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Hot. Ooh, that's hot. Mm. Aside from being So before tasting, you might want to let it sit after it comes right out of the microwave because it's very hot. But you get a very intense chocolatey flavor that's very that's rounded out a lot by that maple syrup. Plus the almonds heat up and get that nice nutty flavor that you love. And the cinnamon and cayenne give it that nice punch of heat. And so it's a great, great way to end the night or start the day if you want a nice mug of breakfast cake. So if you want to share this, so if you have someone who needs a big mug of cake, then give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to find out when I'm putting new videos up, and feel free to share the video. All right, happy snacking.